Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Amy Howard, and we are starting a brand new series uh, with my sister company, A Maker Studio, where we're going to be doing Maker Mondays. We're going to teach you how to do different projects that you can use in your home and enjoy the bragging rights with using the products we have here at A Maker Studio. So, welcome. You are part of this inaugural kickoff of teaching you um, how to craft a beautiful life with us. So today I'm gonna to be doing a pillow, just using one of our regular muslin fabric pillows. And I want you to take a glance of it over here, finished. Now, you could very easily see a pillow like this in a beautiful home decor store, um, you might even see it, maybe uh, someone did it on Etsy. So if you're a crafter, if you're someone that loves making things, this is something that definitely you would have your eye, um, that you would appreciate it. Notice a couple of things too, that, and I wanna educate you on this. It's what we call a trompe l'oeil. Trompe l'oeil, to fool the eye, is trompe l'oeil, meaning it looks two-dimensional, like it's popping off um, the fabric and that is such an easy skill to be able to learn especially with the fact that we talk about levels whether you're beginner level intermediate or a more advanced level this is a level that anyone can do so this is a beginner level and I'm gonna walk you through how to be able to create this so this is something else that's kind of exciting with these new Maker Mondays that we're gonna be offering you through a Maker Studio. Tell your friends to be sure and follow us. Send me some love. Let me know, We've, we're doing Instagram and as well as our Facebook. We wanna know this is something that you want us to continue to be able to do and teach you. Um, but the fun thing about it is, it's something that you can get together with your friends if you love to make things together. And we will be having our makers that will be doing classes using the same technique. So you wanna be able to uh, see what the schedule is like when the class is gonna be with the maker that you're gonna be seeing this. Now, these are also going to become kits. We don't have this one as of yet, but we will later on this week. So you wanna check back um, on our Maker Boss page and with your maker. These are gonna be offered as kits for as little as $29. So that way you're going to get samples of the product that I have used here and you're gonna be able to recreate the same thing at home. All right, so let me walk you through this whole process. Let's take a glance at our pillow one more time and I want you to be able to see what it is that we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna need several things here to be able to recreate this. So the first thing I'm gonna have is I've got my 18 inch pillow that I'm working with here in muslin and it has a hidden zipper so I'm gonna make sure that I am working uh, with the zipper at the bottom of my piece that I'm working on so I'm gonna make sure the zipper is at the bottom like this I am gonna be working with um, one of my stencils from a maker studio now let me open this up for you these come packaged in these little containers that you want to make sure that you keep because they're a great place to be able to store it Guys, these stencils are patented. They're patented because they are a special process that you've probably never experienced before. They're not like your regular Mylar stencil that's been around for a long, long time, but they are adhesive. So let me take this back off. Now look at this. They're adhesive, and here's what's so cool about the patenting process. This is mesh. So you're gonna be working with a product that we call our gel ink, specifically by Maker Studio, and you're going to be placing it through this mesh here. It's very simple. So you don't have to have any um, artistic ability if you're like, I can't draw, I can't do that. Yes, you can, because we're gonna be using this stencil as our guide. So there's a backing to this stencil. It's, it's, it's adhesive, as you can tell. So I just want you to very gently pull it apart and I'm gonna hold on to this because I'm gonna put it back in my little package. Now, here's the other thing about this adhesive stencil. It's repositionable, but you wanna make sure that you don't let it touch because once it touches um, another part of the stencil, it might be kinda of hard to pull apart. Now, you're gonna notice something else. Do you see where it has the name A Maker Studio? That's the bottom right-hand corner of that stencil. So I'm just gonna move this around like this. Now, let's take a glance at our pillow one more time. And I want, to, I want you to notice, look at the design. 
See how the main pattern of the stencil is in the center of the pillow. So that's what we wanna do. We want to take a ruler and we're gonna measure the distance from the top, the bottom, and the sides, and we wanna position the stencil in the very center, just like this. I know a lot of you are thinking, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I could have, I could have them uh, covered all over my sofa or my bed, or I'd love to even give it as a gift. Yes, you can. And here's the other thing. While the kit that we're gonna be having and that you can purchase, um, we're gonna be working with these two uh, great looking spring colors. You know, I've always said in, in interior design, it's best to have a fairly monochromatic palette on your upholstery, but it's always fun to be able to go with color on your pillows in your room. So I'm working with two colors this morning. Um, and yes, these are Southern names. If the Creek Don't Rise is this color right here. And then of course, my second color is Hey Y'all. Though you'll notice there's two different things about this. This is monochromatic, mono meaning one color. And you have a lighter color and a darker color, but they're both kind of in the same family. That's what's going to make it look more trompe l'oeil. You will not get a trompe l'oeil or a to fool the eye on this particular look if you don't stay more in the monochromatic family. So let me just show you here again. This lighter color ink that I'm gonna be working with is this color right here. The darker color that's more trompe l'oeil or that's making it look raised is acting like a shadow. That's my darker color here. All right, so first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna take my gel ink um, and what's so fun about this product, guys, is that you can use it on muslin. You can use it on your baseball cap. You can use it on any fabric material. Yes, you can use it on upholstery. You can use it on little burp bags. You can use it on sleeping bags, uh, um, towels, uh, tea towels, napkins, everything. It's endless. It's going to allow you to really be creative um, and make these incredible pieces of art that are just on different surfaces. Now, notice what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit out. Now, when you get your kit, you're gonna have a sample of it, um, so you won't need quite as much, and you'll need to work from the edge. But for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna use this to be able to spread this out to show you what this looks like. Now, you'll notice with the stencil, it's adhesive, but look, you can pick it up if you want to and reposition it. And you can rinse this when you're finished and you can use it again. Make sure when you dry it that you be sure to hold it up um, and let the bottom side dry. I tell you what, I'm gonna probably get a little tub and I'm gonna show you how to clean it so that way you, you'll understand. All right, so now look how I'm holding. I'll hold with my left hand to be able to just hold it in place and I'll spread it around. Now watch how I'll lay down the ink and then spread it. I'm gonna go back and get just a little bit more. Now we are live. This is 10 o'clock Central Standard Time on Monday. So if you have questions about this, if you're new to watching us make things, please ask questions. I love um, being able to encourage my makers um, and people that love using the products here in a maker studio. All right. So notice how I'm gonna continue to keep my left hand to where it's holding it in place because I'm right-handed. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more ink. This is a plastic spreader, guys. It's best that you work with one of our spreaders. You will be getting this in your kit. But now, notice how, see how I'll lay it down and I'll keep pulling it. You don't wanna just lay it on top of it like that. You are literally pushing it through this mesh material. Are there any questions? Are we good? All right, guys, if you Everybody's like this. Everybody's excited. They're excited about it, but no questions. All right. Do you need to put size on the fabric first? No, you do not have to put size on the fabric first. You can go directly on top of a fabric. Now, this is, um, this is just a muslin-type duck fabric. Well, look how I'm holding. See how my thumb is holding that in place there? Don't not hold it to where, because you might start pressing on it and it could lift it and get it out of position. So I always just kind of will hold that in place. You know, now if you're just signing on, we are working with um, a Maker Studio adhesive stencil and we're working with our gel inks. Now see how I'm pressing it? You can hear that noise. 
So it's pressing it through that mesh material. This is one of our patented stencils. Uh, the whole process is patented. And I will tell you that uh, this is probably one of the most fun, easy things you will ever do. Now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time to continuing to go around and work on this because I wanna show you a couple of more steps to be able to complete this pillow. But I do wanna make sure that you learn how to be able to press that through there. Do you need to rinse your stencil each time you use it during the project? No, that's a great question. Um, you do not have to rinse it each time. Now, we have a lot of products here that you can work with at a maker studio, and one of them is a Rescue Restore paint. It's totally different working with a Rescue Restore paint on fabric as it is different from the Gel Ink. This Gel Ink is much more forgiving. Um, it's not as solid. It doesn't have the same chemical composition. Um, these Gel Inks have been used uh, the same company that I have making these for us have been in the silk screening industry for over 30 years. So the same type of product that you might buy on a t-shirt, let's say if it's been monogrammed or it's been printed, the same professional inks that they use are in this tube for you to be able to have as a do-it-yourself project. The thing is you need to remember when you're using these gel inks is the fact that you do need to allow them to dry for two to four hours air dries fine and then I want you to come back with um, after it's completely dried and I want you to lay down a piece of fabric just a cotton material and then heat set it with a hot iron you want to make sure that it reaches at least 250 degrees and just go over it for about three or four minutes and make sure it he is heat set now you know the fun thing about it is on doing decorative pillows you're not going to be washing these all the time. If it gets dirty, yes, of course you can wash it. So what I want you to do is these have these little zippers here that you can turn this inside out and wash it and dry it. Always dry it on a cool setting. You don't wanna have things that you've silk screened on a real high setting. All right, so I'm not gonna finish this this morning, but I do wanna show you what it looks like because I wanna take you to the next step. I wanna show you how you can create this. So I'm gonna pull that up. How easy is that, guys? How fun. Now, I'm gonna put this under here, or over here, and I'm gonna pull this aside. I just wanna show you something really quickly. Now, finish your pillow. I'm gonna, I've got one that's um, at, a, at another stage that I'm gonna show you. Be really careful if you have to take these apart like that. You wanna just have a bath that you set this in. This is when you're completely finished. You can, com you can finish your project. But now look how I've set it down in here. And I've just got a sponge. You can use a natural seawall sponge. Um, and then in this bath, and then just rinse it off like this. There's nothing in here but water. And that way, that action of pressing that against that and wiping it is going to completely clean your stencil like that. Now I just want you to be able to set this the adhesive side up like this, just set it out on your counter and let it completely dry. So it'll air dry in about 30, uh, 30 minutes with no problem. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. That way you can put it back in your package and uh, you can use it again and again. That's another fun thing. Now, I want you to look at the detail on this. Now it's time for our second color. This color is Hey Y'all. Now, you can do this same process with grays. You can do it with white and gray. You can do it with um, pinks, just depending on what color you wanna be able to do it with. We'll be offering this as a kit put together with samples um, on our website, so we'll be sharing that on social media with you later on this week. All right, so now, I want you to see, you're gonna mix up an ink a lot like this. Let me pour some of this out so I can show you but you do want to water it down. So when we get to the point of being able to do the trompe l'oeil, we want to thin down our ink. You know, the cool thing about these inks is the fact that you can use them on paper. You can use them as well as fabric. If you're not following us, if you're right now you're watching, you're following us on Facebook or Instagram, but make sure you follow us on both of our platforms. That way we're going to be teaching you how to be able to do all these amazing projects. Now, when you're thinning down your ink, you wanna use about one part ink and one part water. 
So see how I've just put that in there like that? And now I've got an artist brush that's gonna be coming in your kit if you decide you wanna be able to purchase this. Could you put something behind the material when you're doing the gel ink? You can if it's a thinner fabric. I would put just a piece of cardboard behind it. This that I'm working on today, the fabric's fairly thick, so it's not necessarily in the necessary, and the inks are very um, thin. They're not gonna go through really to the other side. So you wanna make sure that you get that mixed up fairly well. And when you're laying down these stencils for this pattern, you just abut the edges of the pattern to the yes. next area? Yes, so let me go over that. So see how the, when we laid this down, this pattern, we laid this, the, the main pattern in the very center of the pillow. Allow it to dry about eight to 10 minutes. You can hit it with a hair dryer if you want to, that's perfectly all right. Then you're just gonna take the stencil and you're gonna move it and position it around. Laurie, if you've got that, I'm just gonna show them real quick. So Laurie is here in our test kitchen and she is patting that dry and I'm gonna show you how you can lay that. But see how this is an area here that you literally, can you see this edge? where we've just laid them next to one another. Now, most of the stencils have a border around them. So this border is, you wanna make sure that that's not even there. So that way, when it was sitting here like this, see my edge? So that way you can just position it up and move it up to where that way you can make sure it falls back into the same position again, into the corner, wherever you laid your stencil. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, so you can go above, below, to the side, to the side, and just make sure they're married. On these, I just think it's important uh, to come back and make sure that this main pattern is directly in the center of the pillow. So I can come back and reposition it with my color so I can see where that was. All right? Okay, so now I'm gonna come back, it's com I've done the entire pillow, it's completely dry, and I have taken my darker color, which is this gel ink, it's called Hey Y'all, and I've mixed it with one part water and one part gel ink. I've made sure that I've got a really nice thin consistency, look at this, it's just a very little bit. Now here's a little bit of art school for you. If, if any of those, if you took some art lessons in school, um, this will come in very handy. But we need to decide on a light source. So hang with me for just a minute. So we're gonna, we're gonna pretend that our light source is coming from this right side. And so the light is shining down. Guess what these are, guys? Let me pull this pillow up. This right here is a shadow. So when you see a darker color here, maybe you've seen pieces of art or you've seen things that have been drawn, um, this is the shadow. So the light source is coming in from here and then if this was a real object or a fence or whatever, this would be an actual shadow that was being cast. That's how you get it to be two dimensional. But it's very easy and very fun to do. So just think about it. We're gonna have it at the upper right-hand corner, which is how I'm working, facing, at it, facing it this way. And so everything on the opposite side is gonna be where I'm gonna lay down this darker color. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna load up my art brush like this. Always offload it. You don't wanna have too much on there. So sometimes I'll just kind of roll it like this because I want my brush to stay at a point. Don't scrub it around like this because it's gonna have a tendency to get flatter. Just roll your brush around like this. And then I'm gonna come back. So let's, my light is coming here, so I'm not gonna have any shadows here. My shadow is gonna be on this side. So I'm just gonna lay my brush down. This is completely dry uh, to the touch. I would let it probably dry a couple of hours before I actually start putting my shadows on here. And then I'm just gonna lay my brush down and it's like coloring. Just take your time, enjoy this whole process. And I am laying it next to it. I'm not laying it on top. All right, so let's load it back up just a tiny bit. It doesn't take much. Kind of roll it. You wanna keep your brush in a tip like this. And look, I'm just gonna follow down. Just in that corner, I'm gonna come back up here
you can come back and make it just a little bit thicker. Take your time and enjoy that whole process. All right, so let me take, let me show it to you one more time. See how easy this is, guys? You've got two colors. You've got a lighter color and you've got a darker color. Your darker color acts as your shadow. We thinned it with one part of the ink and one part water. Doesn't matter what, what temperature. And then I, we came back and we literally hand drew it in. There's no need to dab it or anything. It will absorb into the fabric because you're laying it right next to where you stenciled. And um, this is something, we talk about projects being able to be done in an hour and a half. This is very easy. You can lay the kids down for a nap um, and you can come back and do this whole process. So hopefully this opened you up to the versatility of the products here at a Maker Studio. It shows you one of our amazing products, which is our gel inks, as well as our patented stencils. And hopefully you can start to experiment, be looking for this particular kit that will be available later on this week that you can order and turn around and do this exact projects. And be sure and tune in with us every Monday morning at 10 a.m. And we're gonna be doing a new project, breaking it out, how to do it, showing you a new skill, and we'll be crafting a beautiful life together. Have a great week, everybody.